Today's lesson is concept of social casework. This lesson gives a description about the basics of social casework. The major purpose of this presentation is to explain the meaning, nature, objectives and importance of social casework. Objectives On the completion of this lesson, you should be able to describe the meaning of social casework. Explain the nature and objectives of social casework. Explain the importance of social casework. Now coming to social casework, meaning and concept. Social casework is a primary method of social work. It is concerned with the adjustment and development of individuals towards more satisfying relations in different situations. It follows a systematic approach to study and diagnose the client's problem. In India, since time immemorial, society and joint family system used to take care of people suffering with problems like disability, poverty, unemployment, adjustment problems, deprivation, human rights violation. But due to rapid industrialization and globalization, the support systems which were present in the society earlier are slowly getting vanished and today the number of people seeking professional help is augmented. Various support systems existing in the society including school social work, counselling centres, religious groups, peer group, community rehabilitation facilities etc. assist people with problems. However, due to certain factors both external and internal as well as social or cultural, many are not able to avail these facilities. In social casework, individuals will be helped to cope up with their problems and an increasing number of individuals are now seeking this help. The caseworker attempts to understand the client's needs and responds to the person in an individualized way according to his her needs or problems. Problems may be caused due to the non-fulfillment of needs of inability to perform his social roles. Root causes of many problems with which clients seek social casework services are their inability to have a rational look into their tribulations and lack of internal and external strength and resources. Making clients aware about their unfulfilled needs is essential for enabling them to work towards solving their problems in social casework. Every individual reacts differently to his social, economic and physical environments and as such problems of one individual are different from those of another. The practice of casework is a humanistic attempt for helping people who have difficulty in coping with the problems of daily living. It is one of the direct methods of social work which uses the case by case approach for dealing with individuals or families as regards their problems of social functioning. Casework aims at individualized services in the field of social work in order to help the client to adjust with the environments. Social casework addresses itself to the solution of problems that block or minimize the effectiveness of the individual in various roles. Social caseworker provides assistance to every individual in accordance to his problem and need. Problems differ from individuals to individuals. Process used by certain human welfare agencies to help individuals cope more effectively with their problems in social functioning. Mary Richmond, 1915 Social case work may be defined as the art of doing different things for and with different people by cooperating with them to achieve at one and the same time their own and society's betterment. Swift, 1939 Social casework is the art of assisting the individual in developing and making use of his personal capacity to deal with problems which he faced in his social environment. Hall is 1954. Social casework is a method employed by social workers to help individuals find solution to problems of social adjustment which they are unable to handle in a satisfactory way by their own efforts. Perlman, 1957. Social casework is a process used by certain human welfare agencies to help individuals to cope more effectively with their problems in social functioning. Nature of social casework 
various definitions of social case work given by different authors when put together and understood reveal the fact that social case work is related to the psychosocial treatment of the client who is in problem and seeks the help of case worker or problem solving agencies social case work establishes adjustments between individual capacities and resources it consists of the study of mental emotional and social factors in social case work an individual group situation or phenomena is recognized as unit of study and various units are studied properly human beings are social animals and there exists reciprocal relationships between individuals in the society or in other words human beings are interdependent on each other so when one individual is in trouble and finds it difficult to solve the problem when it is physical emotional or financial and other members of the society can help him or her the origin of all types of problems of individuals that is interpersonal or intrapersonal can have connections with fellow beings in the society so it is possible even if difficult to comprehend the problems for experts with a clear understanding about the dynamics of human behavior social case workers with their knowledge and expertise developed with experience help clients to approach their problems rationally rather emotionally and enable them to do whatever possible like changes in attitude behavior perception or decisions towards solving their problems in social case work clients are being helped to realize their inherent capacities and innate potentials which can give them enormous strength to face a problem or solve a problem even though each individual is unique there are some similarities in human beings like their stages of development and needs maslow in his theory of hierarchy of needs defined five levels of needs people have in a pyramid shape having most fundamental needs at the bottom and the need for self actualization at the top each individual has unique characteristics but certain needs are common to all people even though importance of each need is different for each person human beings are adaptable and can be understood and helped their problems may be complex and having physical social medical and emotional aspects in which other family members friends colleagues etc are involved client and all those linked with the case can be made understood about the importance of behavior or environment modifications in order to have a favorable atmosphere towards solving the problem social case work is a method of social work in which social case workers help clients in a systematic way based on their knowledge of human behavior and various tested approaches consumers of these services are individuals and their families who are in trouble and unable to find solution by themselves case workers knowledge expertise and available material resources are used to instill strength in all those associated with the problem in social case work the worker after having rapport establishment with the client gather all details of trouble the client is facing with the help of several sessions vital information are collected from all those related to the client like parents spouse children teachers colleagues employers friends etc to have a clear understanding of the problem situation social case work deals with the adjustment of the individual towards more satisfying human relations case worker helps the total individual that is with every aspect of his life psychological and environmental social and physical factors each human being is the totality of his her heredity and environment to understand a person it is important to have basic knowledge about the family environment and physical social and psychological background of the client and family the case worker attempts to understand the client's needs and responds to the person in an individualized way according to his her needs the person's behavior has his her purpose and meaning to gain satisfactions to avoid 
or dissolve frustrations and to maintain his balance in movement. These needs can be basic physiological needs, safety and security needs, love and belongingness needs, esteem needs or self-actualization needs and usually the needs of human beings grow from elementary to complex. The strength and the particular direction of the drive for satisfaction will differ from different people. Human beings strive by his her behavior to achieve that internal sense of comfort or satisfaction which makes him feel in tune with his world balanced and open to new experiences. Once the needs are fulfilled, people feel happy and content. But in a world where the gap between haves and have-nots are widening rapidly along with restlessness, violence and emergencies around the world, fulfillment of physical, social and emotional needs are very difficult for many. Poverty, starvation, malnutrition, poor sanitization, no housing, war, conflict, migration, unemployment, poor health facilities and medical care, accidents, disasters, abuses of various types including child abuses are the main reasons of unfulfilled physiological and safety needs. Stress, conflict, competition, adjustment problems, depression, anxiety, lack of feeling of belongingness, breakdown of family structure, lack of bonding in relationships, breakdown of marriage as a social institution, lack of fidelity and the like are responsible factors for unfulfilled psychological needs. It is presumed that any person who has some problem with his thoughts that is cognitive, emotions, affect, perceptions or behavior, their interaction will not be able to function properly and adequately in his social roles like that of a father, teacher, pilot, doctor, scientist, etc. assigned to or achieved by him. A person at every point of the day performs some role. One must be supposed to play many roles at one time like son, father, teacher, husband, etc. All his functions are directed to fulfill some role. Feeling of satisfaction cannot be achieved by an individual who is not able to perform his her social roles according to the expectations of the society. Innate abilities like the lack of affection, trustworthiness, honesty, confidence, bonding and inability to express love or certain traits like hate, selfishness, anger, aggressiveness, inferiority complex, etc. may stop a person to execute his social role properly. Several external factors like financial crisis, illnesses, migration, lack of resources and knowledge also can act as bottlenecks from performing one's social roles efficiently. Problems may be caused due to the non-fulfillment of needs or inability to perform his social roles. According to Sigmund Freud, root causes of many problems with which clients seek social casework services are their unfulfilled needs. Making clients aware about their unfulfilled needs is essential for enabling them to work towards solving their problems in social casework. Every individual needs to fulfill various needs in their lives in order to grow and develop. Lack of resources, non-fulfillment of needs, unpleasant social reaction and unfavorable social conditions make human development and functioning difficult and sometimes impossible. People having loving family, good education, motivating teachers, good job, salary, values, etc. also very often need help of those who are around them to solve the crisis arise any time in their lives. Many times the person fails in his attempts fully or partially and sometimes he has to face non-helpful reactions of the people around him. An individual under the stressful conditions seeks help from the near and dear ones like parents, siblings, friends and sometimes from the professionals like priest, teacher, lawyers, doctors, social workers, etc. But the extent to which the family members and others can help them depends upon their expertise, ability and skills to help them handle the situation empathetically. 
it is very obvious all cannot have those traits and instead of helping them solve the problems their immature emotional and non-professional interventions may aggravate the situation even though it is their wish to help a dear one to come out of his person it is difficult for a teacher lawyer doctor friend parent or others to understand the complexities of the problem he or she is facing or understand the person in crisis properly as they are not fully trained for this in this situation a social case worker with knowledge about dynamics of human behavior and years of experience and expertise in the field will be able to understand the client in detail and help the client to solve his problem by utilizing his or her innate capabilities strengths and self determination the case worker may mainly aim at restoring maintaining or improving the person's functioning performance in different roles ascribed to or achieved by him using his knowledge of human behavior skills in communication and relationships and the available resources social case work is a primary approach and method of social work concerned with the adjustment and development of the individual and in some instances couples towards more satisfying human relations in social case work the relationship between a case worker and their client is one of support focused on enabling an individual in solving a problem through self efforts we know that social case work as method of social work aims at helping individual to solve his or her problem in the society to perform in better way and to enhance his or her own capabilities the basic unit of society is individual if individuals are satisfied in their life and efforts are made to minimize maladjustment then it leads to formation of peaceful society society is consisting of individual problem solving is the intent behind every social case work process the case worker doesn't solve the problem for the client but helps the person in the situation to be equipped in solving or facing the problem adequately within the individual's weaknesses and strengths to the end of overall development anything that is social will evoke psychological responses similarly anything thinking and feeling that is occurring at the level of psych that is psychological is bound to show in one's social life that is verbal or non verbal interaction psych always works in social context therefore his behavior that is social functioning has both psychological as well as social components the case worker intervenes or helps in any or all of these aspects to enable the person to function adequately and properly in his various social roles according to perlman 1957 in case work a person that is a man women child aged or anyone with social emotional living with a problem arise from some need or obstacle or accumulation of frustrations or maladjustments which threaten the adequacy of the person's living situation or the effectiveness of his efforts to deal with incomes to a place that is social service agency social welfare departments where social worker helps him through a well defined process that is progressive transaction between case worker and the client next is objectives of social case work to study and understand the problems of clients to help clients to solve their internal and external problems to strengthen the clients ego power to strengthen the innate capacities of clients to assist clients to make use of personal capacity to deal with the problems remediation of problems in social functioning prevention of problems in social functioning development of resources to enhance social functioning to help client to make appropriate decisions to provide psychosocial treatment to the clients to prevent social breakdown importance of social case work Social case work is a method of social work which is practiced with individuals. Individuals are the basic units of a society, so keeping them healthy physically and mentally is essential to have stable families, states and countries around the world. 
Social casework links clients with services, resources and opportunities which might provide them with the help they need. This contributes to problem solving for clients. Indian culture and religions educate the need to help the poor and needy. There is also a tradition of knowledgeable individuals providing advice and support to others. For example, parents, teachers and spiritual leaders counsel, guide and advise their wards, students and followers in trouble. But there is a difference between professional social casework and this traditional way of extending help to the needy. In the former case, the social casework goes through a definite process which involves several steps like intake, detailed study and diagnosis of the problem, psychosocial treatment, follow-up and termination where in each step is carried out with specific plans and procedures outlined by the caseworker and client together. However, in the latter case, the advices and suggestions given by the elders, teachers, mentors, etc. are one-sided and total involvement of the person with problem may be absent in the whole process of problem solving. All human beings are part of society and everyone in the society has different social roles and duties. While performing his roles and duties, individuals face many problems in one or the other form, which hinders his performance as a social being. Every individual is unique with different set of needs from others in society and has a different way of handling his or her life situations. To understand the uniqueness of human behavior and the individual differences, one needs to understand human being vis-a-vis his or her social environment and life experiences. A person is the net product of interaction between biological, psychological and environmental factors. The unique pattern that emerges from this interaction is a personality which comprises of his capacities and abilities, attitudes, beliefs and values, feelings and thinking and his approach or strategies to deal with various situations of life. Individual problems may arise either because of his unsuitable approach to social situations he encounters in his life or because of situations demanding something different or more than he possesses. These unresolved problems would affect the social functioning of an individual, which will in turn cause stress to the individual, affect his family and community life and all the social roles which he or she performs in the society. Social casework method tries to resolve individual problems mainly by restoring, maintaining or improving the person's social functioning using the knowledge of human behavior, communication and relationship skills and the available resources. The caseworker helps an individual in all his aspects of life to enable the person to function adequately and properly in his various social roles. So social casework contributes significantly towards the development of society by empowering and enabling individuals to solve their own problems and thereby remain happy. As the helping profession, it reiterates the responsibility of society towards its fellow beings in trouble. Summary Social casework is a primary method of social work aims at helping individuals to solve his or her problem in the society to perform in a better way and to enhance his or her own capacities. Social casework helps individuals to realize their innate capacities and use these abilities to solve their problems so that enhance their social functioning.